Coronavirus an update. The CDC says several hundred cases of a rare heart condition are likely linked to the COVID vaccine, particularly in young people. But health experts say there is no reason to panic. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain why doctors are urging all parents to vaccinate their kids. The FDA plans to add a new warning label to the COVID vaccines, cautioning people to watch out for signs of a rare heart problem called myocarditis, particularly in teens and adults under 30. Myocarditis is inflammation of the heart muscle. And the best way to think about it is that your heart actually has several layers and myocarditis means that there's inflammation of the middle layer. Dr. Abby Olalade says the warning may sound scary, but you need to keep this in mind. The majority of cases are actually mild and most people get better. And even when they need treatment, they are very responsive to the treatment. She and the nation's top health officials agree the vaccines pose a much smaller risk than COVID itself. The virus can also trigger this same type of heart issue with even more severe effects. I'm heartbroken. I'm, 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 I'm in a million pieces right now. In September, a 29-year-old San Diegan named Cassie Martinez died from myocarditis caused by a COVID infection. There have been no confirmed deaths from myocarditis after vaccination. As of mid-June, more than 300 million COVID shots have been administered, and the CDC announced Wednesday it's investigating 1,226 preliminary reports of this heart inflammation. Most of these reports are occurring in, in, in individuals um, in their late teens and early 20s. The CDC's latest data shows most cases have been in boys and young men aged 12 to 24, but it's still exceedingly rare. In that group, there have been about 50 to 60 reports of heart inflammation out of every million doses. People typically start feeling symptoms about three to four days after the second dose. Chest pain and the sensation of the heart beating very fast or palpitations, shortness of breath, fever in some cases, and fatigue. Any of those, if they're happening, you definitely want to seek urgent medical attention immediately. The CDC examined hundreds of cases in detail and found 91% of the young people were treated in the hospital and released. Only nine people remain hospitalized. The long-term effects, though, are still unknown, particularly for young athletes. Exercise actually makes it worse, and that could be because there is a predisposition to get in an abnormal heart rhythm, arrhythmia, which essentially worsens the underlying process. If a kid develops myocarditis, the American College of Cardiology recommends keeping them out of sports and vigorous exercise for three to six months. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Other vaccines have been linked to myocarditis, including the smallpox and the tetanus shot. Doctors are not sure why it's more prevalent in boys than girls, but with the virus continuing to circulate now, they say it is important as ever to get your kids vaccinated.